The saying goes, if one day God make a perfect human and declare it, some people will try to prove that human is not perfect. Of course, Mr. Beast is not perfect, but at least we can all acknowledge that he is on the good side. Even if you don't like his content, you can still see that he tries to help other people and make content out of it, try to entertain people while doing good things. Of course, the reason drama, I don't know, I don't think it's drama, it's just like people say that Mr. Beast, more like Mr. Bad, still anyway. Uh, there's two points of argument that I heard when it comes to his recent video where he help people ku 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 help with their blindness. Uh, no, he did not come down with Jesus power and make them able to see again. He just pay money to help them with the treatment that they need. Of course, the thumbnail is kind of AI generated to be honest. And it ha- have a very clickbait title on that video. And when I saw that in my recommended pay, I thought I was on YouTube Kit or something like random YouTube channel that just have me the beast on it for the clickbait. But I guess it is actually his video. Like <laughs> he need to do something with the thumbnail. So the first argument is why did he have to make the video out of this? It seems like one of those poverty bait video where you go to a poor country and pretend to do something. I don't know, I never watched those video. People say if you want to do something, it's better to read offline or just don't make a video about it. Consider the business side of being a YouTuber is that you need money to make content. What? Isn't that crazy? I thought Mr. B just went into creator mode so he could build the entire Squid Game Arena for free. It's not like this is Mr. Beast's first ever video that he decided to help out other people. I'm pretty sure he had made a lot of video about helping other people like homeless and many more too. And to be able to make the type of content like he did require a large amount of money. So if he want to make a video up doing philanthropy work, it is understandable. The dude built his reputation out of it, so it would be normal for him to make this type of video. If some gaming channel decided to go to Africa for charity work, then I will have a different opinion about that situation. The second point is that the video kind of point out the corruption of the system where the people who not only will benefit the economy and society if they get the treatment that they need, but they don't get it because the government or the system don't really care about them. And instead, they have to rely on the kindness of a random person to change their life. And people still want Mr. Beast to do better by spreading the awareness in his video. Like what kind of awareness he need to spread? The government is corrupt? Bro, the sun is hot. What next? Mr. Beast is a content creator that understands his audience. He knows what kind of content to put out and how it's gonna affect his channel. He got a team of people with experience to do so. And I'm pretty sure that spreading awareness is not the first priority. Even I could see that his content is target to be entertaining. Mr. Beast built his brand on being the nice guy who tried to do good thing and I'm pretty sure that if he ever do something questionable, the entire YouTube platform will call him out. That is the I don't know I know if I don't know if it is the benefit or the downside of being the number one creator. But by far I only see people support him and the video that he make is doing pretty well. But yeah, uh just don't go to social media. I don't know. I don't, I don't ever see anything good came out of it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Goodbye.